Hey there, what's happening? Josh Mason here. Got a quick video for you today. I'm going to show you guys how you can um, buy your own domain, cloak it or mask it or forward it, whatever you want to call it, uh, to any of your affiliate links. Okay, now this video is you know specifically for my Internet Lifestyle Network people. I know a couple of you guys have been asking me how I do this. Uh, you see inside my 7-Day Profit Zone group here that I have some links that are you know branded to me and my name, but they you know they go off to an affiliate link. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that in this video. It's very easy. Um, and of course, you know, this, it isn't necessary. You don't absolutely have to do it, but you know, it's not a bad idea. It's a chance for you to start branding yourself, um, get your name out there, you know. Of course, you don't have to use your name. You can use any type of domain you think is necessary. Um, you know, you may try out a couple different things, whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. But, um, also too, this, this isn't just for my internet lifestyle network people. This will work for anybody. So if you happen to stumble upon this video, you're looking for information on how to, you know, forward a link. Um, I'll show you right now how to do it. So, uh, as you can see from the screen, we're actually in the seven day profit zone. So, if you guys came through here before you saw this video, um, you see inside the pinned post where I have domains like this. Now, if I were to actually select joshmason.biz, it opens over here on, on this screen. So, I have it forwarded straight to this page for now. Um, eventually, I'll have my own squeeze page here, but for now, I just forward it straight to the Internet Lifestyle Network squeeze page. You can see if I raise the screen up a little bit, you can see up here in the URL now that joshmason.biz was forwarded to this URL. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. Very simple stuff. Now, of course, if you guys don't already have your own domain, that's the first thing you need to do is buy a domain. And um, I'll show you exactly how to do that right here on this blog post. I'll drop a link right below the video that'll take you to this blog post. And all you need to do is scroll down a little bit. And you'll see this first video here. This will show you uh, where I buy my, my domains, um, give you some ideas about um, you know choosing a domain and all that good stuff. Now you just need to watch the first part of this video because um, it's kind of a two-part video, and the second part goes into web hosting and stuff. So just watch the first part about choosing a domain and the steps to getting do a domain and all that stuff. But super simple stuff um, to do there now. Uh, once you follow those instructions, you have your domain, you just need to go into GoDaddy and uh, log in. Of course, um, you know, this will work if you're using a different domain provider. It's basically the same steps. So, um, however, if you are using GoDaddy, this will be even easier for you. You just want to go to my account. Um, looks like I was already signed in. So, it would be like a sign in button there. You just sign in. Come right here to domains, launch that, um, and then you know you depending on how many domains you have, they'll be listed here. For the sake of this video, let's use the joshmason.biz. You simply just go to where this arrow is, okay, and go to forward domain. Okay, now obviously I already have this forwarded, but you know we'll, we'll see. Um, in my case, like I said, it's already being forwarded, so if I wanted to change where it's going to, I would just go to Update Forwarding. And then you just put in the URL that you guys wanted to go to right here. So if you are one of my Internet Lifestyle Network people, um, you would have a link. You know, This goes to that main page where you saw joshmason.biz goes to. This goes to my Facebook group, or no, actually uh, the community Facebook group. This goes to the order form, so I could have different domains leading to each one of these. What happens is you know it looks a little cleaner and um you know you don't have all this dot you know different stuff you know going to there. So once you have that you would just then copy um you know copy your domain. So I would just go to this here and I would copy this. Alright and then I would just paste it right here. Okay. Now notice um the HTTPS or the HTTP is already here so you don't want to have that in for example if I were to now paste what I just did see how it's still here so you just come right here before that whole person and boom get rid of that okay now if your link has a www you want to keep that um, so www.hoverson and I mean that's pretty much it I have it on forward only okay you can do forward with masking um, which would mean when it does go to this page up here in the URL, like I showed you earlier, it would stay joshmason.biz. But um, not honestly exactly sure on this because there is some people think that you 
it messes up the cookies in your affiliate link and you don't always get credit when you mask it so just to be safe I just do forward only and then it'll actually show the other the other um, affiliate link which is okay so um, that's pretty much it guys once you know you click save right here I'm not gonna uh, you know save anything because I already have my set so I'm just gonna cancel for now cancel number two and then you're good to go now give it um, you know anywhere from a couple minutes to maybe a couple hours to actually propagate and take effect so um, you know just keep that in mind but otherwise you guys are good to go and um, if you got any questions or anything I can help you with from here feel free to just drop them below in the comment section and uh, we'll help you out as best as I can alright have a great day and I will see you on the next video take care